right, here we go. We're coming into Prescott, Arizona from the back way. We just came off the Bradshaws and we're arriving here in beautiful Prescott, Arizona. We're gonna go downtown, show you guys Whiskey Row, show you guys around Prescott Valley a little bit and the downtown area of Prescott, which was at one point the capital of Arizona. Um, so right here we have Summit Point Estates and some of these other homes up here. Beautiful views. Some point right there. View down into Prescott. seasons here in Prescott so uh, if you're thinking you're moving to Arizona and you're just gonna get sunshine Prescott's not one of those places we get four seasons up here uh, it's actually a place where people come to get away from the heat in central Arizona down in Phoenix or Tucson because it's right now middle of summer late June Look at this home right here this structure Victorian stuff. And uh, anyway, you can see the beautiful green vegetation. The people live up here in the summertime to get out of the heat from the Valley of Phoenix. Such a wide variety of uh, homes and different structures. Look at that. All right, so here we are on Gurley Street, headed towards Whiskey Row, which is basically where downtown Prescott is. So this is Yavapai County, part of the Prescott School District, for those of you who are curious. But we are definitely approaching uh, downtown Prescott here. We have Prescott Station Grill and Bar. Whiskey Row is known as a place, a walking area where you can go and have drinks or go out to a restaurant. Here you have Hase Ampa uh, Inn. Let me show you some more of these uh, areas around here. It's kind of busy right now. It is Friday. There's Theater Elks or Elks Theater. Looks like we got some of those protesters or what are they? Oh, they have Trump flags. So. A lot of people with uh, police flags and supporting blue, Trump. <laughs> the Burmeister. And there's Montezuma Street, which is also known as Whiskey Row. We're gonna get out and walk around and show you guys around this place. Are. There's the Yavapai Courthouse right there. Montezuma Street, Whiskey Row. So this is the corner of Montezuma Street and Whiskey Row. Early Street. There's the courthouse. And then we'll go this way. Love that mountain there. Sometimes you go up in here and they play live music up at the top there. Whiskey Row, 
there's Matt's saloon. Just show you guys kind of look in there. Jersey saloon. We've gone up there. They play live music up there. Palace restaurant and saloon. Wish I could eat at all these places and show you everything all in this video, but we are limited on time and only so much room in our stomach. Here's grumpy Sicilian pizza and more. Uh, also a beer. So anyways, here's a good look at the uh, Yavapai Courthouse from the other side. That's like the main city center area right there. There's Goodwin Street right there. Like I said, this is Whiskey Row. You could do it like a walk around the block here. This smells really good. Oh, the ice cream. Premium homemade ice cream. Wow. If the smell could talk, this place has it. Oh, wow. This is like world, world, like world class right here, okay? Holy mackerel. Here, Western Heritage Center. I like a little museum there. The Galloping Goose. Here's the Galloping Goose souvenir store. Prescott Brewing Company. And we have this place here, which is an indoor kind of market. Foot Spa. So here we are headed out of Prescott towards Prescott Valley. You can see it's really lush here, but as we get into Prescott Valley, it's going to be more arid. All right, so now we are headed towards Prescott Valley. Uh, Prescott Valley is a suburb or a um, another city right next to Prescott. The main difference that I would say is that Prescott is wooded, more trees, more forest. Prescott Valley is going to be more uh, flat land, plains, and not really too many trees. But if they're side by side, and if this was a metropolis, Prescott Valley would be no different than, say, Phoenix to Gilbert or Phoenix to Scottsdale. But in terms of like the difference, Prescott's going to have the greenery. Prescott Valley's not. So um, as we uh, take this main artery out of Prescott into Prescott Valley, here we are on um, Low Creek Road and Sandretto Drive. Look at this power station right here. Massive power station. Thing's huge. And 
then obviously in between Prescott and Prescott Valley is going to be the car dealerships. You have a Buick, beautiful car dealerships, all the cars you could possibly want. Prescott really is a modern city. Uh, it's actually got plans to be huge and massive. Here's another park. There are a couple lakes up here. Uh, dog parks. Uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great place to live. It's just the reason that most people in Arizona don't like living here is because it gets four seasons. Most people who move to Arizona are like, I'm done with four seasons. I just give me sunshine 320 days of the year. Whereas Prescott, you know, you get a lot of sunshine here, but you also get cold weather in the winter time. There's also another thing to consider about Prescott. You can see right here's a college. You have Yavapai College. You have, um, here's a lake right here, by the way. Lots of lakes. I told you guys about lots of lakes out here. Okay, I didn't tell you guys that because there is a few lakes out here. This lake right here is called the, uh, let's see, well, it's right next to Embry Riddle, which was another college that I was talking about, but this is called Willow Lake. So, Willow Lake. I know there's another college called Embry Riddle, like I said, which is aeronautical. And then you have um, another lake up here called Lynx Lake. And there's actually a really beautiful area just north of here called Chino Valley. If you ever get a chance, you go in between Prescott and Prescott Valley up towards a place called Chino Valley. There's actually these really unique rock formations that uh, you'll see, kind of like what you see right there, but it's actually on a road, and it's pretty nice to see rock formations like that. And you drive right through them, and that's on the way to Chino Valley. So those rocks I was telling you about, that area is called Granite Dells. You can kind of see it over there. But um, if you get a chance, drive in between Prescott Valley and Granite Dells, and it's a pretty good drive. This is the freeway headed back towards Mayer and uh, actually on the way back to I-17, Portis Lakes. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this video from Prescott, Prescott Valley, crush up the likes, and we'll see you on the next one.